This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Cripps, the master baker, baking great bread since 1878. Hello and a big welcome to The Map, brought to you by Cripps the Master Baker, baking bread here in Tasmania since 1878. Well, Friday Night Footy was back on the agenda for the STJFL and the Map cameras headed over to Anzac Park for the ding dong struggle between Lindisfarne and Kingborough. The two blues applied the blowtorch in the second quarter with four goals to one. Let's now go and have a look at all the highlights. Here we are, first quarter, Lindisfarne versus Kingborough in the under 16B Friday night football. And it's a great game. Oh, loose hands off the pack there. Ben Glancy, good goal for Kingborough. Straight through for six points. They are just nailing them. And uh, isn't it great Friday night football as we see the ball kicks out down, uh, down to the ground. The two Blues trying to get a pet handle on it. There is the Lindisfarne player, number 72. That's Ryan Martin. Big kick down towards the forward line. It's loose. Around he comes, and another kick, oh, here he goes again, number, who's that? Cam Mallison, a great goal there, Cam Mallison, for the two Blues. Don't they look magnificent in their colours there, Duff? Oh, unique uniform, I tell you what. Okay, good bounce there by umpire guy, guy. William Press gets the tap down, it's okay. into the hands of the uh, two Blues player, and strong hands there by Michael Blacklow, that's a great mark right in front of goals. Okay, Aiden Fenny kicking out here to the advantage on the uh, far right uh, side there. Nice big kick, but it's coming into the advantage of it. Looks like Monty Hayden from the two Blues. Oh, another one. Oh, and another goal there to Linus Far. By Craig, he played one of the blue goal game the other day. A fine player there, Monty Hayden. A hard-fought win there to Lindisfarne. And didn't they sing that song with gusto? So now from the under-16 division, let's move on to the under-10s, where we see two fantastic matches, New Norfolk versus Claremont and Sandy Bay versus Claremont. Okay, here we are, Claremont Bulldogs versus New Norfolk. Out of Claremont, it's a little bit chilly today, but uh, it's a great game as Lockie Nielsen gets the ball out. It looks like Corin Jenkins kicks it down towards Baker Smith. Baker Smith straight through for six points, great effort. We see it in contest there, Brock Russell there. Oh, beautiful hands, Tyron Bailey. Dishes it off there to Jenkins. Jenkins just gives it back to Bailey. He looks like a season player, this boy. My word. And a big kick down towards. It looks like Bain Tomlin running free. He's got a handle on it. He's going to be looking downfield to move it on. He's got the mouth there. The card hanging out the hanging out the mouth at the camera. It looks like uh, Lockie Woods there gave the good smother. But uh, Golding gets the ball back down towards. Oh, can't Ooh. quite grab the mark there. It looks like uh, Zach Smith. Yes. He's clearing it there for uh, the Bulldogs, and he's down towards Lockie, Lockie Woods. Uh, he can't, oh, here he is now, yes, and he's got it. A little handball off, that's lovely to Dylan Pregnell. Kicks down towards, running onto it, they could raffle it, but Tyson with the, Tyson Shelvin with the little rat's tail there, oh, kicks yeah, it down towards goal. Is Jordan Blackwell going to let it run? No, he makes sure of it there. Jordan Blackwell, goal to Claremont. Here we are, under 10s at Claremont. Claremont Bulldogs versus Sandy Bay. And it's a nice little turnaround there by Jesse Wilmot. And he kicks it down towards oh. Sam Butler. Nice, strong mark there. Okay, there we go. The kick out to the wing there. That looks like Jack Duffy just had the ball stolen off in there by Caden Gruber. And uh, he's streaming goalwards for a beautiful goal there. And it looks like Andy Gregg running onto the ball here. He gets it out. He's got a lot of traffic to get through. Nice turns onto his favourite right boot. And uh, it could be Claremont coming out with the ball. No, look, it looks like uh, Sandy Bay player picks it up. Yep. He's looking to move it on. Nice little hand pass there to Finn Stevenson. Finn's going for a run there. Swings around on his favourite right boot. He's going for goal there, Duff. And, oh, mopping oh, up there so is good. Xavier Herbert. Great goal there. And look at him. He's a happy man. He's done his job for the side there. He's made sure it almost went onto his backside there. OK, here we are. Ball up there. Callum Thompson gets the better in the ruck. And it looks like Gruber going for a bit of a run there. He kicks down towards his forward line there. 
and runs onto it. There's Jesse Wilmot, swings oh. onto his right boot. Stevie Mill. And a great goal, very reminiscent of Stevie Mill there. And the high fives are on. I reckon he's the smallest man on the ground, and he's probably the happiest at this point. How about the lightly framed Jesse Wilmot and the bright green boots just tore him apart in the last quarter, snagging three goals. And didn't he enjoy the celebration? Well, it's been an action-packed show. I hope you've enjoyed it. Keep the emails coming. All we want to know is, if you want us to come out here at the map, this is the email number you go to. Give us a hoy and we'll be there. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily, daily bread, Crips Master Loaf. Be it wife, wholemeal or nine grain, I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives in a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise to the occasion, munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation, we call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Master Loaf. Tasmanians swear by it.